1859. The English natural historian Charles Darwin put forward a theory, the theory of evolution. According to the imaginary scenario of evolution, lifeless matter supposedly came together by chance in such a way as to give rise to the first living cell. Of course, there was no scientific basis to Darwin's claims. Evolutionists took advantage of the primitive level of technology in the past to deceive the public for decades. It is as if they had cast a spell over them. However, scientific advances eventually stripped Darwinists' masks away. All the relevant branches of science revealed countless pieces of evidence refuting the theory of evolution. Two thousand seven. The Atlas of Creation permitted the people of Europe to see the facts for the first time because the Atlas laid out a reality, the fossil record, which annihilated all the claims of the theory of evolution. Not only is this giant book, consisting of the highest quality photographic illustrations, convincing and impressive in appearance, it also has attracted considerable attention because of the proofs of God's sublime creation and the scientific information refuting the theory of evolution that it contains. Two thousand eight. Reports of the collapse of Darwinism are pouring in from all over the world. Public opinion polls in 34 major countries show that belief in creation is snowballing and that the theory of evolution is on its last legs. In addition, many scientists are turning towards God and saying that all of life was created. The numbers of the proponents of evolution are declining day by day. The people of Europe are turning to God in waves. Say, truth has come and falsehood has vanished. Falsehood is always bound to vanish.